In this video, we're going to cover some of the operations of the servicing schedule. Um, to get to the schedule, we're going to go to invoicing, service tickets, and then we're going to uh, select the service list. When this list opens by default, it's going to show you your personal list if, as if you were a mechanic and you had items scheduled for you to actually go work on. Uh, if I want to look at all of the tickets that are in the system, I'm just going to come up here and select the customer tickets, all customer tickets. And we get a few other options that we can select from at this point. Um, so for example, if I want to look at all of the items that are ready for scheduling, then it'll bring me up a list of all the things that we, if we've ordered parts, whether they're ready for pickup in the parts department or whether all of them have already been picked up and the job is ready to schedule. Um, if I want to look at all the jobs that have parts on order, uh, the point is, is that with this drop list, you can narrow down and look at specific things that you have on the schedule. Another thing that I can do, if we clear this box, we can come up here and tell it I want to look at all of the unassigned jobs so that I can determine which one of them I want to assign next to a mechanic. Uh, to do that, we're just going to select the calendar option here, this, this little icon, and this will open up our calendar control uh, to allow us to choose a day and a mechanic that we want to actually work on that particular unit. Now, if I would like to see more than one day, we can come up here and select multiple days and Lizzie actually opens up each of those days in a vertical list here so that we can easily look for openings that we have over that next five days um, or whatever number of days that we chose. And then we can also select to only view primary technicians or we can view all secondary only secondary technicians and it'll narrow the list down so that we're looking at a fewer number of people uh, to schedule our job. So it's just a way to to get rid of and only see the, the texts that are available for that particular time period. Now, if we want to schedule it, we just select the time period that we want to schedule, enter the number of hours that we're going to have on that particular uh, mechanic, and then the system will, el will eliminate that mechanic from the list, and now we're down to the next, or excuse me, it'll eliminate that job from the list, and then we're down to the next jobs that we want to schedule. So you just go through the process, scheduling the different mechanics until you have their plate full. Now, if I want to look to see what is on a particular mechanic's plate, I can just select that mechanic and then it will open up and show me what we have assigned to them at the current point in time. Uh, so just flipping through here and selecting each of the mechanics will, will bring up a list of jobs that, that you have. Right now I don't have any for those, but um, it's, it's a fairly simple process to go through, or actually, I'm sorry, I do have jobs here, but you have to pay attention to what we've done. We told it we wanted to see unassigned jobs, and so the system was hiding that particular mechanic because I had the unassigned box checked there. Um, so we can go through and select the different mechanics, see what's on their plates, and uh, help to, to keep up with what we want to schedule and what we want them doing. A few other options we have here, um, we can open up and look at our order by date promise. So if I promised certain customers that we would have their units to them by a certain day, then I can view those uh, specific jobs to try to get them done quicker um, so that we can get them out when we promised that we would have them done. Uh, we can also view jobs by the date scheduled. So if I want to look at all mechanics, I can clear the mechanic select a particular day so let's just look for today and it'll show me all the jobs that we have on the schedule for today um, i also have the ability to separate out all of my internal tickets which are things like setup jobs and pre-inspection uh, pre-delivery inspections those kind of things if i select the uh, internals option then it'll show me everything that's on the schedule for today on the internal um, so it, and if you want to look at everything again, you can just clear this day out and the system will go out and show you all of the internals that are on the, on the plate, no matter when they were scheduled. So the point is, is that as you're creating all of these service tickets and you're putting the mechanics on, you're sched trying to schedule work, trying to manage all this stuff, instead of doing it with a clipboard and a bunch of paper, you're actually able to very easily go in and keep up with everything that you need to do right here on the service list built into Lizzie.